Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. Today it's time to talk about Down a River page 31 of John Thompson's Easy Piano Course, part 1. Down the River is an important chapter of this book because you learn a very important thing, the tie. The tie something that you will have to use and abuse in the future. Thompson says, when two notes are tied together, the second note is not struck but held for its full value. What does it mean in practice? Because I noticed that when I asked the students to read um, these explanations, they uh, get lost a little bit. Follow me one second. Do you see that at the end of the first line and at the end of the second line we have here two E's and here two C's. And there is this line that is indeed the tie is even expressed, yeah? And explained. Now, what do you have to do? If we take off the tie, you play the E, you hold it for counts, then for the last bar you play it again. But since there is this line, you don't have to play again this one, but you have to simply hold it down. So this E will be eight counts in total, okay? So the tie um, occurs when two identical notes are connected by this line. You see, two identical notes. In this specific case, it will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You see, when I said one, I didn't play it again. Without the tie, it would have been one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With the tie, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You might even count five, six, seven, eight. But I suggest to keep counting one, two, three, four. In this way, you keep the same way of counting up to the end. This is the only news of this uh, page. Obviously, a very interesting news. Now I'm going to play a little bit faster and then I will play again slower. And I think that there is nothing else that should, we should mention. Because I think that now, after so many lessons, and following me on this channel you have learned how um, to consider the notes, uh, the value of the notes themselves and uh, how to write the fingering. If you always apply the principle of both hands starting from the middle C with both thumbs on the middle C, as I always mention, place the thumb, left hand thumb on the middle C and accordingly hold the fingers on the following notes keys and do the same with the right hand there is no way that it can be wrong you simply write down the fingering accordingly so here you repeat four then obviously three one and so on now time to play it um, slightly fast one two three four one two three four At the end of the first line, um, you can definitely take off the left hand because you don't need it anymore, yeah? Anyways, now I want to play it slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Et voilà. So as I was mentioning, um, if you have been following me and uh, studying all the previous pieces, um, following my tutorials, you shouldn't get in trouble studying these and um, checking the notes, especially you parents helping your children. In case you are landing on this channel thanks to this video, I invite you to check some of the previous videos in the playlist of uh, John Thompson part 1 and uh, you will definitely get interesting tips for helping your children. Anyways, if you have any question regarding Dan River, uh, feel free to contact me by commenting. Let me know how it's going, if you are studying well, if you are finding useful my channel and my tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe if you have never done until today. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.